everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you a recycle and reuse project. So this is the article that I have in the September issue of the Social Paper Crafter magazine. So this is my tutorial to sit side by side to the pictorial that you'll find in that magazine. And all those links will be shared in the video description box below and also over on my blog. So I have done these before and I thought it was a really good way and there's a couple of other bits that I'm using that I'm recycling as well. But this is making tassels out of your old um, magazines. So I have lots of craft magazines um, and not all the bits I want to cut up because I want to keep it for inspiration but there are, they're great magazines to reuse because they're always so colourful. So these are the tassels, so if I just bring this one up here and what I've done is I've stuck, this is sellotape foiled sellotape that you can buy in a lot of craft shops and again all those links will be shared of all the um, supplies that I use um, and then I've just popped it on some baker's twine and popped a loop on it so you can just thread it through your gift bags and yeah you've okay so now I've got this really fun trim with all these tassels hanging so now just flip it over now whenever you're working with a shiny surface so for example I have folded this over on the top because it's going to roll even if this didn't, this wasn't folded over, it was just plain magazine paper. Because you're going to be rolling this shiny side and it's going to touch that, it's always best to use the red tape, unless you have a very, very strong double-sided. But this red tape will stick anything. <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. So I'm just using a little quarter of an inch wide there. And again, just go over, making sure you squeeze all the air and all the bubbles out so it's all nicely stuck down. And then... I'm going to take off my backing and this is going to be the end that we end with okay so I'm going to grab some twine what color do I want to use because it's all kinds there at the end so I'm going to bring in just looking down at my twine I'm going to have the green I think or do I want to have no let's bring in let's do a different one here yeah I think the green will look nice so I've just got a bundle of this it's up to you how much you want to cut off I'm just going to do what have I got here. This is um, 17 inches, but again, it doesn't matter. And then just fold it over so it's all nice and lined up and even. And then I'm just going to stick this onto this end, okay? So it's just attached there. And then I find just using um, a pokey tool and just stick your pokey tool onto the very end there or just somewhere. And you can use that. Just get it in there to start rolling your tassel. And it's only to kind of start it off. Once it's in place, then you can do it yourself. And you just want to get it to start to attach to that red tape. And it will stick really well. So you can see now my twine is completely encased inside the bit that we're rolling. Okay? So I'm just going to keep wrapping that around, keeping the silver all lined up with this. Okay, try not to go off course. You want to end up, and just each time you roll it, just kind of brush out your tassels there, keeping everything lined up. So don't rush it. And just keep doing that until you get to the very end. Okay, and then the very end bit, just neatly wrap around and there you have a really really fun tassel if I lie it against the yellow there you can see how fun they look now you could have both of those together so what I can do now is just cut the end and let's take this one back off okay I've just tied a little knot there I've got them both kind of hanging at different heights and then I can just tie it around this piece here so I'm just gonna do it like so, so I've got one of each colour on each side, and there you have it. You can see now how cute that looks. So it just needs a little gift tag, or I might put a little sentiment down the bottom there, but how, you know, you get such a great effect, which has cost, you know, very little to do. So that's that way of doing it with the foiled sellotape. Now if you don't have that and you have foils and just double sided tape, I've just cut another strip of from the magazine. Like I said I like this, I want this to be the piece that we end with. 
So this is again, this is three and a half by ten, so it's a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to bring in, let's try, um, what colour have I got there? So let's bring in the red foil. So I've got some of my red foil here. And I'm just going to take off, do one at a time, so I'll do the bottom first. So I just ran a half inch double sided tape along the bottom there. And then I'm going to stick my foil directly on there. I know the length that I've got, I can take that off and then just trim this piece off here and then I'm going to take this one off and stick that one over there like so and then with all foils it's exactly the same, just grab your finger and just rub over it Okay, sometimes it will start to lift in areas and that means it's obviously all nicely stuck down. I also like to go over mine with my bone folder just to really make sure. See now, that's what you want. See when it starts to lift off naturally? And it goes completely clear. And now I can peel that off and you get that really cool. Bring this up, foiled edge. So again, just rub that one over. That one's really quick and then just peel that one off like so. So now I've got that lovely red foil. And then if you've got any sticky bits that you can feel, there's a couple there, you just go over it again like so. Okay, so I'm really pleased with that. And then just do exactly the same thing again. So you're just going to cut strips again about a quarter of an eight, um, quarter of an inch, sorry all the way up like that. I'm now going to carry on with my scissors because it's much, much quicker. Okay, and there we have all of our tassels again. So just flip it over and along the top I'm going to add that strip of red tape. There's green in this one so I'm bringing in the green twine. Cut that off. I've done this one a bit shorter so this one is 10 inches and just do exactly the same process again. So make sure you pop your uh, twine at the end where there isn't any colour and you want to make sure that the end that's free is the one that you're, is, <laughs> the colour is at the one that's free because that's obviously what you're going to end with. And again, just start wrapping it all around. Okay, and there you have it using the foil. And I think these are really fun to make. They're really good to do with the kids as well. Um, especially with the glitter because it's always fun to get the glitter out um, as I showed you there and you just do exactly the same that's double sided and then just sprinkled glitter over and you get really really cool cool effects so there is with the foil these ones are with the sellotape and this one's with the glitter I think the sellotape ones are my favorite maybe it's just because that silver is so shiny and it's already on the gift bag, but I think they look really great. So that is my recycle and reuse tutorial. I hope I've inspired you. And uh, yeah, if you're short on maybe some pattern papers um, and you've got loads of magazines, use them up. It's a great ways to uh, yeah recycle. So please check out the Social Paper Crafter magazine. The links to everything will be shared below and also in my blog. If you've enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.